Do you have trouble finding easy ways to do vintage curls? Is your goal to look like a Cocker Spaniel? Do you have trouble sleeping comfortably at night due to rollers or pin curls? Then this video is for you. My one goal in life is to look exactly like my dog. And I'd say so far, I'm getting there. Hey guys, happy new year, it's Vicky. Welcome back. Whoa. For this year's first video, I thought I'd go with something a little bit more fun and somewhat of an experiment, or at least an experiment, uh, 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 or at least an experiment for me, because I've never done this before. And that is curling my hair with a t-shirt. Let me rephrase that. Charlie? So about a couple of months ago, I did a tutorial where I did my curls using toilet papers or um, napkins. And so I got a few comments and after doing some more research um, of folks doing it with fabric and they're called rag curls. And actually I kind of knew this, but I totally forgot about it. And so I wanted to try it out and I don't know what types of rags they used to use back in the day or people still use, but uh, I'm gonna use a t-shirt and hopefully it comes out right and we'll see. My hypothesis is that they probably won't look too different, but we'll see. So obviously to do this hair, you are going to need an old t-shirt that you don't mind cutting up into shreds and a pair of scissors. Ooh, that would have been bad if that was turned the other way. Vicky and scissors, not a good combination. And you'll need a couple of other things to do the actual curls, but I'll walk you through that in just a bit. So let's go. Alrighty, so taking your old dinky t-shirt that is too old to donate, you are going to cut it across like so in about two inch sections. Once you have your long strand, you're gonna cut to open that up and then cut smaller sections from there. You wanna make sure they're long enough so you can tie these comfortably around your hair. How long really depends on how much hair you have. I did about five to four inches for each. I ended up cutting about a total of 30 strands, which was just about right with a few to spare. And Charlie was very interested in these. Now to the curling part. To set my hair, I have been using the Jane Carter Solution Natural Twist Out Foam. I love this. Not only is it cruelty free, but it leaves your hair nice and soft. It's not damaging like some setting lotions. It is for Afro textured hair, but if your hair is not like that, you can totally use it. And of course, you're gonna need the lovely paddle brush to brush out your hair. So taking the first section, I like starting with the front part and I part it um, to the side, right where the arch of my eyebrow is at. And then I work about half a pump or less of the setting foam into the strand of hair. And then I'm ready to roll it up with the fabric. So I'm taking the fabric, placing it about halfway through the strand of my hair, and I'm wrapping the bottom half in, making sure the end is very tightly secured, don't want that sticking out, um, and then wrapping it up the rest of the way. I always wrap this first front strand in, that's just the style I like. Then after that, you just tie it up. You can do two knots, just don't do them too tight. If not, you're gonna have a hard time taking them off later. And after that, you can move on to the rest of the head, following the same process, except instead of wrapping in for the rest of my head, I like to wrap outwards, like I'm doing here. For this hairstyle, I don't set it or section it in a certain manner because I am lazy as heck. Um, but if you wanna do that and get fancy, go ahead. And this is the final result. Honestly, I think this is probably one of my most attractive looks like just look at me and i'll show you the complete back in just a bit but anyways i'm gonna go to bed now and sleep on these hi everyone so it's the next day and we're gonna see now how these turned out slept pretty comfortably with these which is always super nice and now we're gonna unravel and see how these curls turned out uh, ow 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 Ooh, none of them unraveled they held pretty well didn't really slide down this one kind of did a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, and yeah, let's see how they look. Mm. 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 Oh, let me show you the back too. And I would like to add that one of my favorite things about doing my hair this way is that it is so darn easy to do. Like, look just how fast, I mean, keep in mind I'm time-lapsing it, but how fast I am taking it out. If you have long, thick hair like me, you will truly appreciate this. 
I really like this. Not too bad. I feel like my curls came out in the same style that my toilet paper or napkin curls come out, which is pretty nice because now I can just use these and these are way more reusable than the paper. I mean, paper you can obviously save, but at some point it's gonna disintegrate or not work anymore. So with the rags, I can just wash these and reuse them for a much longer time, so. I like it. This is how it looks all around. This is obviously not brushed yet, but I'm gonna style it. I'm just gonna do a really simple style so you guys can see how the final look goes. So I'm taking my petal brush and I'm gonna take some pomade and just work that through. And while I do use a brush, I also like to use my hands to pull the strands down and manage the curls. I'm also gonna take some duck clips and um, put one at the top right here to help define this bang section or whatever it is that you call it and do a little wave here and then put them probably all around my head too right here to define that. There's also a way of doing that with rollers, of course. That's, the old, that's always a nice thing about using rollers that it's probably easier for you to style your hair in a certain um, manner and like manage the waves in a certain way. But at the same time, I just hate sleeping with rollers or these things like I've mentioned in some of my other videos. I just can't do it. Like I, I've struggled so much throughout the years and this is my new way of doing my hair. Unless there's like a really special occasion or something or there's a way that I know I really specifically wanna do my hair with rollers. I'm just sticking to this moving forward. And this works just fine to give you that dent because with the rollers, what some folks do is like fold to a certain point where you get dent or whatnot. But not me. I don't wanna suffer. I know beauty is pain, but not today. These turned out super fluffy. I'm gonna leave them like this. I like that Cocker Spaniel poodle hair. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I like the way it's, what it's doing. It's low maintenance, it's easy, and yeah. So while I leave that, while I mess with my curls a little bit more, I'm gonna add some hairspray to these pieces right here, and then let it sit for a while, and then I'm gonna take them out. All right, so it's been a little while now. I am gonna take these off. And I'm gonna put a bobby pin to just hold this up and back a little bit, um, try to hide it in there, but you can always tease this part too. This is my easy hack. <laughs> if you don't wanna tease and mess with it anymore. Just kinda push the pin in. There we go, see? It's like a little baby bump. It's a baby bump. And this is the final look. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Great easy look with these types of curls. Um, if you work and you don't have the time to get all fancy dancy all the time, like me most of the time, and you're also just really, really lazy. If you have long hair like me, I also find that this is one of the easiest ways to roll up your hair. Um, pillow curlers too, but as I mentioned in the past, those things can be the devil sometimes too because those wires eventually end up poking your head and ruining your life and your sleep. So these angels here oh, sent from the heavens for all hairs and especially they help girls with long hairs who take like 10 hours to curl them. It's true, it takes like 10 hours now, but really realistically speaking, it took me like about 30 minutes to roll it up which I could have been much faster, but I was actually, believe it or not, trying to be really careful for you guys. I am ready for the day. Charlie, what do you think of my curls? Are they cute? What do you think? Do I look like you? Do I look like a little Cocker Spaniel like you? Here, show them your hair and I'll show them my hair. Oh, you sound like an old man. If you like this video, like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you back on here. Sending you a really, really big virtual hug wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Give me that, give me that. Rachel Maxi, I feel you girl. We should really consider starting a support group for dogs who like bringing out the squeaker toys while you're filming a video. Just saying. Go take the squeaker over there.